Hi everyone! If you're new here, I'm Alan with Earth Glow, and this channel is all about sharing the joy of candle making. So today's video is really exciting for me um, because um, if any of you had watched my previous videos where I was doing unboxings from Makesy, trying out all their fragrances that I bought over a hundred of in their 99 cent sale. Well, today I am going to be doing an unboxing of the fragrances that I ended up purchasing in 16 ounce bottles from Makesy. Um, and so I'm really excited because as I mentioned in those um, videos, I'm really, really hard on companies um, harder, I would say, when they are charging more of a luxury marketed price point. I really want it to blow me away. So every single one of these fragrances that I ended up purchasing does that 110% and I cannot wait to open these boxes and smell these oils. But anyways, if you are new here, um, consider subscribing. I'm always posting candle business related content and fragrance videos are my absolute favorite to film. But anyways, let's get right into today's video and I hope that you enjoy. So before I flip you all around for this unboxing, I just want to reiterate that these fragrances blow me away 110%. And I am not sponsored and not affiliated with Makesy. Um, if you all haven't noticed by now, um, my content is sometimes crudely honest um, because my focus on this channel is you all. Um, but anyways, yeah, these fragrances are really good in my opinion. Now, please don't just go out and buy them. If you um, like fragrance oils that I often like, then you might enjoy them, but fragrance is going to be very personal, so I would always recommend doing your own testing and buying trial sizes. Don't be like me and just buy a 16 ounce bottle, which I sometimes am notorious for doing. Um, these I actually did buy the trial, like the 10 milliliter bottles um, that I got from the 99 cent sale. But anyways, yeah, these fragrances blow me away and I wasn't even looking for new scents. Um, I have more than enough fragrances and I have to be careful because the fragrances, the shelf lives do vary on them, but I find with most fragrances that you really want to make sure that you can use it up within one to two years and that is with proper storage. So in a dark area in a cool and dry environment um, is where I like to store my fragrances like in filing cabinets in the basement. I know some of you are still waiting for that uh, tour for me to do and it is going to be coming up. But anyways, yeah, let's, I'm going to flip you all around and um, let's take a look at what we have in these boxes. I am so, so excited. I cannot even tell you all. Okay, so here we go. This is going to be, I guess I have two um, boxes from them, which I think I ordered twice. Like I ordered once and then I ordered more later. Um, so yeah, I have two boxes and I am going to show you all. This is my, let's just cover my address here. Um, this is my, um, packing slip for the first one. So this one, I think, is this in focus? I hope this is this is the Harvested Sumac. Oh, I guess I ordered, yeah, I must have ordered two. So they do package pretty well, I would say in general, and I've never actually seen in person a 16 ounce bottle from Makesy. So this is like my first time looking at and holding a 16 ounce bottle of theirs. So yeah, the Harvested Sumac and Campfire. Calibrian Lilac Lemon and Lilac Leaves. And then another bottle. I guess I really liked this one. <laughs> and so I'm gonna smell all these again on camera because oh my God, I just die um, smelling these fragrances and using them in my products. Um, like I said, all of these worked really well for me. Some other fragrances I find don't have very good HT, but that is definitely true of a lot of companies, I would say. Oh, and I don't know if you all can see this beautiful candle in the background. Let me try to show you all. Oceans of Love. This is my favorite scent um, from Michael Aponte with Candle Romance. Um, and it's so, so good. Definitely 
um, one of my favorite candle makers. So if you all don't follow uh, Candle Romance, please give him a follow and check out his website, candleromance.shop. Oh my God, I didn't know I bought two bottles of this. So this next one um, has the infused yarrow buds and guayaquid. Some of you might remember that I really, really freaked out when I smelled that one and was surprised by it. Um, also has the Moody Myrrh and Golden Amber. I believe this was one of their Lux for Less scents. They have like a whole line now. Um, and then I guess I bought two of the infused Yarrow Buds in Guayaquil. Um, okay, and then we got three more in here. Um, I really didn't plan on buying any of these in 16 ounce bottles, but like I said, these were just so good. I could not pass them up. And this is the Dark Rose and uh, Labdenum and the bronze auras and pink suede. This is the one that I couldn't get the cap open for so long. Um, it was absolutely um, one of my favorites. And then this is the bronze suede and bitter orange. Now I'm gonna flip you all around and like smell all these again, because honestly why I wanted to do this so much was just so I could smell all these oils again. I and mean, I'll kind of tell you all what I'm planning on doing with these. Okay, so I'm going to smell these oils and then tell you all kind of what I plan, <clears throat> excuse me, on doing with them. This video, by the way, this whole last week has been so crazy between Black Friday and um, my school semester ending. By the way, if any of you have taken Calc 3, I have like two and a half weeks left of the course and I cannot wait for it to be over. Calc 3, like if you know, you know. And I really enjoy calculus, but this class is, is um, it's very, it's like three-dimensional calculus pretty much, and um, it sometimes can be hard to get an intuitive grasp of what I'm actually doing. Even though I'm doing well in the course, it's just like, I like to really have a good broad understanding of what I'm doing, and sometimes I feel in this class that it's, it's very difficult to glean that sense of broad understanding. Um, but yeah, I'm sure some of you have taken it and know. So let's take a look at this infused Yarrow Buds and Guayaquil. Now, this fragrance was one that I was not expecting that much out of. I mean, it didn't have that many reviews. The name was kind of nebulous to me. And so I just didn't really know what to expect. And I'm also usually not into like floral type of scents, but this one absolutely blew me away um, when I smelled this one. Some of you have seen, um, I'll try to link all of my Makesy hauls um, when I tried out these oils in the 10 milliliter bot bottles um, in the description below. But yeah, this scent, like it's so different than anything I have smelled. Um, it's very, very prominent as well out of the bottle. And um, this one, I feel like um, I didn't try it in my 464, but it's a very prominent thrower in my beeswax soy and cocoa creme um, wax blend, which is how I plan on using this one. Um, in my Rustic collection, which releases in 2023, it's gonna be like the counterpart or the antithesis, but also the counterpart to my Wanderlust collection, where it is gonna have the focus on simplicity and nature, and um, just kind of like this rustic type of a character, and yeah. So I'm gonna be using that scent um, in that collection. And then, oh yeah, the Calibrian Lemon and Lilac Leaves. This is what I plan on launching um, as like my first scent in my Rustic collection. This fragrance, it's a phenomenal thrower by the way in wax melts. So I use this one in my Beeswax Soy and Cocoa Creme Wax Blend um, that I will try to link the um, formula to um, the video on how I make my candles with that wax blend above. But you can also um, just use this in wax melts. And I use this just at 10% in a wax melt. And three of those little tiny melt squares or whatever you call them in the clamshell uh, filled a medium to large size room for me and um, like in an open area of my house. And that was just at 10%. And beeswax does also tend to mitigate the fragrance. Um, so it, it can suppress some of the fragrance notes. Uh, most of you probably already know that, but um, yeah. So if you use like Parasoy, I would say that you may even get a stronger throw out of this one more than likely. Um, but this is such a beautiful earthy, fresh and clean. Oh my God, I just whack myself in the face with a cap. Um, it's a beautiful, earthy and fresh scent and it smells exactly like the name. Um, I would say if this type of a fragrance is out of your budget, 
I think I paid like 40 some dollars for it because I got it on sale. Um, sometimes they do like 20% off and I try to get their fragrances then, or I try to save up my points. One of you recently told me about those that Macy has like where you can get points um, and then you can redeem them at checkout. Um, and I think I have close to $100 worth of points, which is really great because I'm definitely, I already have two more fragrances that I'll be sharing in the future um, that were out of stock when I tried to order them. And um, so, yeah, unfortunately, I don't wanna say unfortunately, but there's gonna be more fragrance ordering from me, even though I planned on not ordering fragrances because I really don't need fragrances. Um, but yeah, so Calibrian Lilac and Lemon Leaves, I bought two bottles of that one, as well as the Infused Yarrow Buds and Guayaquil, and those I do plan on releasing um, as some of my first scents in my Rustic collection in 2023. Um, and that's gonna be in the concrete vessels that you've all been seeing um, me make in some of my videos. I've been kind of learning how to do that for the last year. Yeah, and then another one is this Harvested Sumac and Campfire. And this one I plan on releasing as well in my Rustic collection, blending it with Candle Science's Campfire Marshmallow, I think it's called. And I just really love like the combination of those two oils together um, because that one, um, it's a little bit sweeter in the Harvested Sumac and Campfire. Um, it's, you definitely get a blend of like the campfire and it's not a smoke in your hair type of a campfire I definitely give candle science and stone candles a hard time a lot because I think that their firesides smell like smoke in your hair um, Like your hair after you've been at a campfire and This fragrance by Makesy as well as the if you like the flaming candle. They have a really good. Um, I think it's called um, I'll put the name up on the screen, but it's some campfire um I use it in my Winter Wonderland collection. It's my Nautilus candle, and I can't remember the name offhand. Um, but yeah, I think it might just be Campfire, but yeah, anyways, this Harvested Sumac and Campfire is really, really good, and it smells more high-end to me. You definitely get the Sumac, you get the Campfire. I will say that this one is not what I would call a exceptional thrower. I would say it's an okay thrower, but I might recommend it more for wax melts or if you use like a parasoy, um, something that's gonna give you a little bit better of a throw than I am able to get with this one um, with my beeswax soy and cocoa cream. But I would say that it's good enough that I do plan on releasing it in the fall um, with as a blend with Candle Science's Campfire Marshmallow. And I am really excited about that. I think that it's gonna be a great release. Um, I may even release it in the early, um, like in January, February, because I typically, if I don't know how a fragrance is going to store, I do not like to um, generally keep them for that long without knowing. Like some fragrances, I just know like I can keep this for a year and it's gonna be fine. I've got about two years on this one, but this is a new oil to me. So I would assume uh, six to 12 months with a newer oil like that where I don't know. Um, so I may end up releasing that one sooner. And then, oh yeah, I could not resist the Dark Rose and Labdenum. Macy is so well known for this scent. This is probably their best seller, I would say, of any of their fragrances. And it's for good reason. Um, if any of you saw my video um, when I first smelled this one, it's out of this world. It's out of this world. Uh, some of you were saying that Maple, not Maple Street, um, I'll put the name up on the screen of the company, but there is a company that makes a dupe for this one, I believe, from, I have not tried it myself, Scent Memory, I believe is what the name is. They make um, a dupe for this one, and if some of you could just remind me in the comments what that name is of that dupe, um, that would be great, because this fragrance is really expensive, and it's out of the price point for a lot of people, it's like $90, I wanna say, for a 16 ounce bottle. And I will say for me personally, like that is like top, top of my price range. And I did also get 20% off when I bought this one. So, and I would still say like that is just top of my price range. Next one, um, oh yeah, I wanna share with you all. Um, the next one is this Moody Myrrh and um, 
Golden Amber. Now, this fragrance, the way that I use the sample, I ended up using it in my Chamomile Kiss body butter. And let me know if you all would like a video on how I make my body butter. Um, I have a really good recipe that I did formulate myself and it's been very popular. I've sold it for the last three years, but I actually originally developed it as a formula um, for my own cantankerous skin that just doesn't seem to respond to um, many lotions very positively. So I wanted something that had higher concentrations of really good ingredients. My formula for the Chamomile Kiss Whipped Body Butter, as I um, call mine, is um, my own recipe and uh, I'd be happy to share it with you all if there is interest but I know this is like a candle making channel so I don't want to just like put that up here unless a lot of you do want to see it. Um, but anyways let's take a look at this moody myrrh and golden amber and this fragrance I'm telling you all works very well in body butter blended with frankincense essential oil. Yeah it's definitely lighter out of the bottle than I would like but in a body butter application, it's so soothing and spiritual and I absolutely adore it. Now, I do also plan on maybe doing something with a candle with this one, um, but yeah, I just needed a 16 ounce bottle because I just did. Okay, next up, let's look at this Bronze Taurus and Pink Suede. Now, this was the fragrance that I got the cap stuck on. Um, when it came in the mail, I literally had to use like pliers to get the cap off the bottle because it was stuck. Um, but this fragrance, it was worth all the trouble, I'm telling you all. I don't even know if I smelled it. I think I smelled it on camera. Maybe I didn't, I don't know if I actually ended up smelling that one on camera, but it was so, so good. Um, yeah. If you are looking for, now this one does have a substantial powder note to it. So if you don't like powder, you might wanna stay away from this one, but it's such an upscale, like if you've tried like Winter Candy Apple by Bath and Body Works, that has an orris root note to it. Um, but this one is much more high end smelling, I would say. It does have a prominent suede note to it. Some people may think of this one as more masculine, but I am trying to get away from using those words when I'm describing fragrance. But yeah, this bronzed orris and pink suede, it's so good. It also has like a pink pepper note to it, I would say. And this is one that is very modern smelling. Um, I am planning on blending this one, I believe. Um, and I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna blend it with. I'm thinking um, maybe with the bronze suede and bitter orange or maybe with the moody myrrh and golden amber. Um, I am not exactly sure, but um, I'm really excited to have this fragrance. And this is one of my favorite oils of all time from Makesy. The last one that I purchased in a 16 ounce bottle was this bronze suede and bitter orange. Now this fragrance smells very rustic to me. Um, I would say that this oil is like old world. Um, someone, I believe one of the reviewers said that as well on Makesy and I would totally have to agree. Um, you get the suede and you get the orange, but it's more orange heavy. And now I would disagree that it smells like an old man's cologne. I think one of the reviewers said that and I would strongly disagree. I think that this, um, this smells like oranges. Like you get like an orange rind or an orange zest with this one, but it's coupled with the suede note and like this bronzy note and maybe a little bit of pink pepper as well in this one. And oh my gosh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Now I would say that this one um, is similar to the bronzed orris and pink suede. So you might just want to get one or the other um, if you are kind of between them or just get both and blend them like I may end up doing. But yeah, such a special oil. And I do plan on releasing this one as a blend in my rustic collection. And I don't know for sure what I'm gonna blend this one with. I'm thinking like maybe a Palo Santo. I think maybe with the Palo Santo from Midwest um, Candle Supply, which is my favorite Palo Santo that I have smelled from any company. Um, but yeah, maybe with that fragrance and maybe with the bronzed orris and pink suede, like as a three-way blend. 
Um, but yeah, I'm really, really excited to have that oil. Um, but anyways, that is all for today's video, and I hope you all enjoyed seeing what scents I ended up purchasing after smelling all of those fragrance oils. Um, but anyways, if you did enjoy, don't forget to give this one a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below if you're familiar with any of these oils or what your favorite oil from Makesy is or which oils should we avoid. Um, but anyways, thank you so much for watching this video and I'm sending everyone peace, love, and light. And I'm wishing all of you happy candle making.